guys, this is so dire and so serious that I didn't take a shower. I didn't prepare for this video. This is a raw, straight off the cuff reaction from Relic Selects just revealed how crazy AI is getting for music producers and music makers. This is legitimately the greatest AI I've ever heard in the whole music AI conversation. So I want to thank Relic. I'm going to react to this video. I only saw one of his TikTok videos. Thank you for tweeting this because I would have never seen this if you didn't tweet it, Relic. To everybody watching who's brand new, I'm going to say this is a state of emergency. This is serious, dire attention that you need to place on AI. This is getting very, 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 very serious. I'm just going to play the video and I'm going to react to what Relic found. And we're going to, we're going to investigate more. Let me make sure the audio is actually coming right, through. Let me get super specific this time. I'm going to go 94 BPM. All right, we're crazy cool. improvised. All right. Piano, so watch him search different key terms and into this AI and it's going to spit Drake out the most Tory ridiculous Lanes. thing you'll ever hear from if an this AI. Gets it, I'm going to be so impressed. This All is right, insane. Here we go. Get ready. Follow him everywhere. God damn. <laughs> even he couldn't even. <laughs> Shout out to Relic. No fucking way, bro. I don't know if you guys can hear it as like loud. Let me know in the comments below what AI you use. Because I did That's use so some. crazy. I did use some other nah, AI. Nah, bro. I can hear somebody freestyling over this. That's you got it, girl, you got it. This is AI doing the beat, the drums, everything, the All piano. Right. <sighs> All right, I didn't see his other videos. That's the only one I saw. Again, guys, I'm not editing this video. This is not scripted. This is not. I, I was going to do scripted AI stuff but and do more research. This is, I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to think. Let me know how you think about AI. Is it going to take over everything? Is it going to be a tool? I think personally, this is going to create ideas for us producers to then sample. So we don't have to clear samples anymore unless we really, really want to. So I'm just going to use this again. This is let me just make sure the audio is good. This is how raw we are. I'm literally just trying to figure this out on the fly. All right, guys, prepare yourselves because I don't know what this is going to sound like. And we're just let's start here. Arabic gospel, Arabic gospel. First of all, vocals. How do you play? How do you hit play? Oh, the Even though it's not the highest fidelity, it's still usable. I can run it through a filter. How's this free? This is refusion.com. This is scary, y'all. Not the greatest song, but you can export this and save it and then sample this. Now, I don't know if it creates stems. That's a whole different conversation. If this thing creates stems and audio, this thing is going to take over a lot of companies. Um, not the, again, I don't want you guys to think this is competition. This type of tool is not competition. To me, it's like we get to create our own sample and it's a novelty. It's new. It's something we've never heard before. Let's go to funk line, funk baseline with jazzy saxophone. Now, I don't know if these are all pre-made or what. I don't know if it creates it from scratch or if it's just pulling from some library, but let's see. Now again, it's a little low fidelity, but that's how AI works right now. I mean, that's a funky bass line. The craziest part is that it understands human timing. It's not just like boom, 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 boom. And it doesn't have that cheesy piano. It doesn't have those cheesy sounds. Let's do something and let's search. I'm going to watch Relic's other two videos because I didn't see the other two. I didn't even know he had more. Okay, so let's type in... It says, what do you want to hear next? Okay, let's type in Drake. Ah, I forget Drake. Let's type in like something random, like acid jazz, uh, <laughs> R&B chords. I have no idea what I just typed in, but let's hit enter. And it just says acid jazz. Oh, I think it stopped at the R part. Whoops. Now, I don't know if it's... Oh. Let's retype that because I didn't realize it doesn't record it doesn't recognize the ampersand. So let's put R N like the letter N. Guitar. It could do sax pretty well. This sounds like on the phone waiting music. I can see a lot of companies using this to never have to pay musicians for their waiting music because it sounds just like that quality. 
again, I don't know what, I mean, I know what to make of this. I'm not looking at it like competition. I'm looking at AI like this is a tool where we can actually get infinite ideas from and never run out of ideas. Um, yeah, I, I, I want to know what you guys think. Again, this is my raw reaction. I'm going to try it one more time and then we'll go to see Relic's other video. This is called Acid Jazz R&B Guitar. This is pretty, this is accurate. It even knows how to create motif and change ups. It's crazy because the computer understands counterpoint, which is weird. Um, well, it's all in numbers anyway. I don't know what to put in here. So I'm going to watch Relic's other two videos to see what he found. Okay, so let's go to his first video, I guess, on AI. I had AI generate a beat for me, and this is what it made. All right, All right so we'll let's do see. 126 BPM. Oh, he put the Midwest BPM. Midwest okay. emo, Jersey club. <laughs> no, they're not going to do a Jersey Into club. trap. <laughs> no, they're not. We'll see what it pulls up. I just realized I had the volume down too, my bad. Okay. Do you hear this guitar? You could finesse that right, guitar and make it sound it crazy with reverb, a little compression. Did it do a change up? Oof. No. No, it did not just do a change up like that. That's so fucking hard. Oh, I gotta bleep that All one. Alright, let's see how it does the trap. Oh my. Oh, into trap you put. I didn't notice that. This is ridiculous, bro. What? Nah, I, bro. Nah. I don't know. What I to had think. a. I Here's my. Again, I'm so lost for like thoughts. <sighs> Breathe. I think the AI is pulling from a library um, because it's so structured that it feels like it's pulling from something that exists already. So I don't know if this is purely like randomness or if this is like pulling from some. I just sold this AI generated thing and it's just for two thousand dollars. Pre-selected library and then it's using the words to pull. I can't tell, but either way, this is insane. He said, "I just sold this AI generated beat for." Two thousand dollars. Yeah, right. Did he? Shout to him if so. Dollars. This shit too easy. All right, let's try one fifty six BPM dark drill beat. Oh, is he with fast ethnic? There is no AI music generator yet. What? Wait, relic. Did you trick us all into thinking the AI made this? What if he's just overlaying the beat? Now I'm skeptical. What the Thick heck? Guitar. All right, finally, Lola, let's play. What if this was Ugh. just his way of getting his beats out? Oh, Relic, did you just finesse us? That's why I want to go to the website. Let me type in what he typed in, because I don't know if that's his. It's so good. That was so good. I don't know if it was him or not. He, I could, just be, sold he could be tricking us, though, as a joke. This but AI I went to the, the website itself. What did he type in? 156 BPM. We're going to do a word for word. 156 BPM. This is like... At first, I was going, AI needs time to catch up. But if this tool gets more things right, this tool will be the tool. The other AIs are not close to this. I tried other AIs um, on the other videos, and this they weren't as close as this. This is, this is crazy. Now, again, the trick with AI is how many styles can it create? Because when you get into trap and stuff, you can't just play piano straight through and trap. It has halftime reverse effects, a lot of stuff. It's not just typing in notes. So I want to see how the AI interprets all those special effects that we add to sound. Can it emulate effects and plugins that we use? Okay, let's type it in. 156 BPM. Dark drill beat with fast ethnic guitar. Now again, he could have been tricking us now that I read the comments. Um, shout out to Relic again for even putting me onto this website. Okay, this is called... One okay, let's hit play. Yeah, it doesn't sound as clear as his. He must be overlaying his beats or something. Either way, this is... This sounds nothing like drill. In the world is that? It sounds like people's beats I've heard. Let's type in one last thing and then we'll wrap this up. Dark melody, piano, chords. Maybe that whole time he was just overlaying his beats. Now, freaking Relic, did it trick us all? I want to post this video. I hope I didn't just waste 10 minutes of my time. Wait, that's not dark. Let's try this again. That is not dark melody piano chords. Let's try Neo Soul guitar. Just Neo Soul guitar. Now, if this sounds nothing like Neo Soul, I can't 
back this website up. That's the only backside to AI. The only downside I've seen is that, one, it's random, so you can't control the outcome. I would like to have parameters that we can tweak to get us closer to the desired outcome that we want. And then two, um, you got to go through a lot of like iterations to find the good one. So at the end of the day, even if AI does get really advanced, you still have to curate and pick the best takes. Have you ever taken 3,000 photos or even like 100 photos in a row? You're, after a while, you get tired of trying to see the small differences between the photos. You're like, okay, my elbow's kind of up in this one. And like, which one's the best? I don't know. There's so many that look the same. I don't know how to pick it. And I feel like AI is the same way. It can create a lot of different things. Let's go full screen because you guys need to feel me on this story time. Ooh, my cam wasn't even set up. Salty. I'm going to do this in real time. All right. It just doesn't want to show me here. Let's switch it up. Let's do boom. And then boom. Just to show you how real this is. Also, yeah, I got this on the wrong finger because it slid off earlier. I'm now an engaged man. Um, I was going to say my only things about AI that I could say are that one, it creates so many iterations that you're going to have to seek through and find the best take anyway. So is it truly giving you all these ideas? I mean, you still have to take the time to go through all the ideas. Secondly, the AI is in a lo-fi state. The way it recreates audio right now is like it takes little chunks and then compiles all these little chunks into a bigger picture. And the problem with that is that it, the, the way it calculates a waveform can sound lo-fi. Like how does it calculate curvature, basically? Um, it's the difference between exporting as wave and then exporting as MP3, put it that way. Um, and then you have other issues with AI, which is, mm, here's some things I've read. This is what I read. You could do your own legal research. I read somewhere that it basically with AI and computer generated music, um, it's not copyrightable because like a machine made it. So if machine made AI, then that means can if you just put the song out and put some drums under it, can you even copyright your own song? If not, somebody can just jack your song so you don't really have copyright protection. So what if somebody theoretically made a gazillion AI things and then just flooded all the melodies. I don't know. This, these are the questions that we have to have because you don't know if AI made it or not. I can make stuff on the computer and make it sound like a computer made it by degrading it and adding effects. One more thing about AI, which I kind of forgot, so let me hit play because it's going to trigger a thought, is that, oh, right now, in my opinion, as a music producer who teaches 800,000 producers around the world, so I'm going to work with Drake, Kanye West, Post Malone, Young Thug, Ariana Grande, French Montana, Trippy Red, uh, Ray Shremmerd, a lot of the Billboard folks, they've gone diamond, platinum, gold. What I found is that some of the, we're not always just doing playthrough melodies like, doo -doo 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 -doo. you know, sometimes it's like reverse, like, it, it's post processing. Like, it's like a seven step process to a melody. You'll have playing the melody through as a piano, then you have to reverse it, then you add the effects, then you do something else, chop it up, then you replay it. So it's not like a straightforward plug and play type of thing. You can't just plug notes into a piano and get the melodies that Metro gets all the time. So these are the things that AI, I don't think a computer can truly understand that unless it has like the tools embedded into some virtual computer and then that virtual computer runs all the plugins. Like that would be crazy. Because Ethereum runs on a virtual computer, the EVM, Ethereum virtual computer. It's basically the internet, from what I understand, of Web3. Um, now, I don't know everything because I kind of forgot all the Web3 stuff. The market crashed. I forgot everything I knew <laughs> about Web3 stuff. Um, but think of AI. What if it could, I'm just saying, what if it could take everything that we wanted in a music production computer, like as much RAM as, as it needs, as much whatever as it needs. And then it puts every plugin that we've ever wanted on this computer, this virtual computer. And then it sends algorithms of melodies and chord progressions and drum rhythms and all this. And it picks the best sounds because it can analyze which kick drum is used in the top hit songs. And it will match the sonic character to the kick song, to the kick drum in the AI's library. And then we'll match all the timing. It will average it out to a common timing or maybe style-based timing. And it will take all the samples that it hears on the radio and just kind of find that exact sample because it could look at all the harmonic content of a sound to the microscopic degree that humans can't even see. And then it will match the samples. I mean, Lunch 77 could do it with his ear. Imagine what an AI could do as far as finding the right drum. Shout out to Lunch 77. 
So this is what an AI, I'm saying the theoretical master AI would do is, is listen to hit songs, take out all the sonic qualities, find the exact sample, find the chord, find the keys, find the structures, find the timing, add that into the MIDI, run the instruments. And then if it thinks it's hearing a certain process like reverse or different effects that we use, bit crush, then it can process that on the virtual computer and then run all our real instrument sounds like contact sounds that we have through this virtual computer. And then that virtual computer takes that song, even though it might take some time to process, it could take that song and then now export that as a final thing. I think that is going to be the master race <laughs> of AI. And that is going to destroy all these like internet AI things that are going on. Because right now there's this little nuances. When you teach music production, you start to learn these nuances. And even though this is great technology, I just think it has innate flaws. Um, and of course, I'm not being a stickler. I love this technology. This is like exciting. Let's try one more thing just to see if let's try Mariah Carey uh, vocals. Let's see. Now that we're out of Christmas season, missing Mariah Carey's vocals. Let's see what the AI generates. Now, again, this is free. So maybe this is just like a dumbed down version because I doubt they would offer their product for free. For see that cheesy piano? That's the AI that's kind of cheesy right now. I mean, since, I mean, no, let's look at the positives, not the negatives. The fact that it has vocal chops in here that sound like vocal chops that you guys would use is good enough. We could chop that part, put it in our beat, call it a day. You don't need the whole track. Maybe one of us will get lucky and type in the right keyword. I'm just going to type in a bunch of garble, see what it pops up. Let's see if it can read gibberish. <laughs> this is my last test. And then I'll let you guys go. I just wanted to react to Relic's thing in real time and not edit the video. It reacts to Garble, okay. Yeah, uh-huh. Big Willie, y'all. <laughs> I don't think these are gonna take over your jobs as producers. I just think we could use this as starting material. Let's end off on the big screen again. I don't think this is going to take over your jobs. I think this is just starting material for music producers to just do better things. Wishing you guys well. This is literally the rawest reaction I could give to this. Give me websites below that you find are like this or better or worse or whatever. We're going to investigate them and go through them all. I'm here for it. Thank you guys. Like the video. Please subscribe if you're new. Peace.